my name is Jamie Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to play a few of my favorite licks by the great guitar player Jimmy Herring. If you don't know Jimmy Herring, his playing is a great mix of all sorts of style. Blues, rock, jazz, fusion, bluegrass, played with bands like Widespread Panic, The Allman Brothers, Aquarium Rescue Unit, Derek Trucks, Project Z, Frog Wings, dozens of others. So I'm going to show you a few of my favorite Jimmy Herring licks. The first lick... <laughs> A minor pentatonic blues lick. So I'm going to bend from this G at the 8th fret of the 2nd string up to an A. Whole step bend. Then G A. And then a bit of a pre bend. Half step from E flat to D to C. And then I hit the A twice. So that's the first half of the lick. And one thing that Jimmy Herring is a master of is sustain. So you can really let that note ring. And then we're going to play a similar lick, but an octave lower. So I'm going from G to E, D, C. E twice, and then slide up to C. And Jimmy Herring also is kind of always in some areas, especially on the lower strings, on the verge of getting pinch harmonics. So you can really get that kind of. So the whole lick, here it is slow. Here it is a little faster. You can also add a little. The next line is for A minor. It happens over A minor. It's kind of a Dorian idea. Play it over an A minor 7 chord. So we'll start hammering on from B to C. Then to E, and then back to C, and back to B. And it's a sequence idea, meaning that same rhythm continues, that same kind of pattern. Then we go G, A, B, G, F sharp. So far we have. Then we'll do from D. So D, E, F sharp, D. And then slide C, D, C. So over an A minor chord. And these are all notes out of the A Dorian scale, which is the same thing as a G major scale, but played from A to A, or over an A minor 7 chord. So he's using the ninth to the flat three to the five, then the flat seven, root nine, flat seven, six, and then four, five, six, four, flat three, four, flat three. Another A minor seven, kind of a Dorian idea that Jimmy Herring uses, involves using fourth intervals. So this idea, we're going to be playing with the 10th fret. I use my third finger, my pinky. Kind of almost looks like a B minor pentatonic shape, even though it's happening over A minor. So we have D to A, and then to B, and then F sharp to E. And the motif continues. So then the line continues, starting on the flatted seventh, the G, to the D, back to the G, then to E, then C, A, and then sliding into the D. So we have slowly, I'll break it down. The 
next example will be over E minor 7. Here it is played slowly. So this is an E minor Dorian lick, should be played over E minor 7 chord. Here's our E minor Dorian scale. So you'll start by bending from the 10th fret, from an A to a B, and then a hammer on from F sharp to G and then a D, and then a pull off, then a pull off from E to D. from B to A, then F sharp to G, then A to B, then D to C sharp. So here's the whole lick slowly. idea over A7, little bluesy idea. So Jimmy Herring is great at these sustaining bends. So for this one, we're going to slide from an E into the root A. You can give that A some nice vibrato, almost B.D. King influence. Then we're going to bend that E with your third finger at the 12th fret up a whole step to F sharp, and then hit the A again. So we have... Then you're going to take your third finger and move it to the 13th fret and bend all the way up to G, a whole step. And then a little chromatic passing note, 12th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret, C to A, And then we're going to bend at the 15th fret, the G, we're going to bend up a whole step to an A and really let that one sustain with some vibrato. So the whole lick is. And they can finish that off with a little blues like This is another one of my favorite Jimmy Herring. Just a series of pre-bends. And this is an A minor pentatonic. I'm pulling down from an E bend, but I'm really landing on the D. That's my target note of the pre-bend. So I hope these lines have been helpful. Now let me know in the comments section your favorite Jimmy Herring solos, your favorite Jimmy Herring lines, or some other guitar players you'd like me to show you a few licks from. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.